Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will talk about a new feature on 1042 version which is rename item number. First, I will talk about the problem statement. So this, this feature is basically comes with two, two different aspects. One is, you know, rename item number of course from the release product and at the same time uh, it also you know brings the log of changes right so that is also a new thing uh, it has it has been added with this new feature so first uh, without enabling this feature we will see the problem statement say example a uh, company or organization has implemented dynamics to a financial operation they are operational and due to you know or as part of streamlining the process process I, i'm repeating they want to change the product or release really i mean item number but dynamic CCTV of financial operation has some restriction that you cannot change it example uh, say you know five six seven this live cam so so any any form if you want to change a vendor customer if you want to change the, the key id you know to go to options record info right and then rename so if i change i if i want to change it one two three four and if i click ok and then you click yes then it is giving it gives an error that it is not allowed to rename the item number that is a restriction so this problem statement is mitigated with this new feature so we will see that so now we will go to system admin feature management and then we will enable this feature rename item number enable now this is the preview feature in 1042 so you need to test it so i'll go to product information management release product and then Five, six, seven. So the interesting part of this feature is it not only you know rename the item number, it also you know rename every data associated with this item number. Example, posted transactions. Example, you know unposted or posted sales order, purchase order, inventory transactions. Everything where this product is associated, every data has. Uh, you know will change as part of this process so from where so we will need to select this and then from the general option we will see two new forms in the action pin which is rename item number which is one is rename item number and one is item number renaming log so from the rename night item number we change the item number and from item number renaming logs we see the logs so there are there is another form from where we can see the logs which is under inquiries and reports item number renaming logs right so what we will do we will change this rename item number so this you know this uh, pop-up will come and this is describing that there are some limitations which you need to you know uh, be aware of you need to just go through this and from where this item number to rename and then i will say i'll change it to one two three four maybe okay and you can run it by batch processing or you can you know change it on the go so what we will do we will click ok we'll wait for the success message it takes some time because it not only changing uh, you know item number but it also changing the associate data right so if i click ok and this message and this if you click this message details you will see this list of you know information which microsoft gives that where where this item number renaming has you know uh, uh take you know taken place that full item number renaming log can be with here calculation item number update one records bomb calculation update two records so every associated data it will it will show us that how many records it it is actually updated it's actually updated and there are a lot of you know uh forms where this item was associated item table order line sales order line vendor invoice line posted vendor vendor invoice line so everywhere even if it is posted unposted everything it will change so we'll see that change so maybe we will just refresh it we'll close this 
and then refresh it right it will go because the item number is now changed ic1 ic1234 this is the new item number now we will see the inventory transactions like in the transactions see the item number is also changed here right and if you want to if you want to see the sales order number or purchase order number like this is the purchase order number right if you click on this it will take us to the purchase order number purchase order number and then in the purchase order line you will see the item number which was posted with another item number now it has been renamed with the new item number so this is the beauty of this you know uh, feature i would say it's a very good change because uh, you know since this feature was not available uh, for some you know process streamlining process enhancement we had to propose to create new items uh, instead of using this old item because an item number was not possible to change now uh, some companies can be benefited with it and they can utilize this feature and i hope you you will be also you know able to sell this product or sell this uh, feature with this new version right so i hope you have liked this and another one which i want to show is that the log the item number renaming log the number of time you change you know this item number it will it will you know keep the log in the back end so if you see i have changed this item number uh, from you know previous item was uh, like this uh, right so it was 1154 i have uh, it was previously was 232332 now the new item number this has been changed again i have changed this from here to 5678 again now i have changed from 5678 to this one so every related vlog it will keep this is item specific and now if i want to see the uh, you know list the log so here also you will see all the renaming log so it is not item specific it will bring all the logs if you have multiple changes so that's it for this feature i hope you have liked it and uh, i will be able to you know uh, <clears throat> utilize this as part of your implementation or organization whatever it is so thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now